I had said that I wasn't going to vlog on Friday. <laughs> well, it's Friday, so I'm going to vlog again anyways. Um, wasn't too much problem doing the vlogs yesterday, and today I've got more than enough time, so I'm going to do another BTS vlog. I'm going to continue on the series, the Back to School series, because uh, I'll be starting uh, most of my uh, study sessions, the study programs I'm going to be working on will be up and running by the September September 15th. So that's the average back to school. I know most kids are going back to school around the 6th and 7th, so. But um, myself, uh, the, my full schedule won't start until about uh, September 15th. It's already gone now to a certain degree, but uh, I won't be properly back up to speed until about the September 15th. Well, that's all right. That's not a problem for myself. Um, so we'll continue on this here because it, it is, uh, my life is pretty much like uh, a kid's life in terms of uh, uh, studying. It's not that it's sort of, uh, it's not that uh, I intended it to be this way. This is sort of uh, the way things ended up working out. Uh, you started off, uh, left high school, uh, went to university, uh, going to become an astronomer. Uh, then in the second year of university, set up my own research facilities and uh, decided, decided, decided to head out and study um, uh, quantum physics as the main uh, section of what I want, the main theory that I wanted to work on. And I ended up in uh, open exploration, which uh, you go into areas of uh, science and particularly physics that are not well understood. And in fact, in some cases, they're not understood at all. And your job is to figure out how things work and how, you know, basically working on the very cutting edge of science. That's where ex exploration is. Exploration is about that. It's about going into the unknown and dealing with the unknown. So that's uh, kind of where my life uh, sort of ended up into a, in, towards the uh, infinite student or an infinite tween. That um, I spend large chunks of my day inside the library, that's my office, and as long as I can, wherever my library is, and I've got it all here on my, uh, my tablet now, I've got most of my library here, and as I need to, I can connect to my main library, which is, uh, my Linux network, it's about 6 terabyte or 6,000 gigabytes worth of, uh, uh, books and, uh, other, uh, library resource materials there for uh, physics and uh, chemistry and everything related to physics and it's about my life right now has been about uh, building that library that building that ultimate library that contains all the information that I need to have uh, in order to push the boundaries of what I know and then push the boundaries of, of physics and this is sort of how I ended up where I am now is that as I began doing more and more work and pushing these boundaries, I found that the learning never stops, and you always have that feeling. It's <laughs> sort of because it, it worked out that that every year I needed to sort of break things up into smaller projects rather than have one large project break it up into smaller projects that can be achieved that can be done within a year. And the pattern that sort of worked out that uh, I was finishing. Uh, the projects that I had sort of set up that I wanted to do for the year, I was finishing them by um, by June, and then by uh, August, by the time I had cleaned everything up from the project that I had done, and sort of decided what I wanted to do again for the following year, or the, the, the coming year, uh, that wasn't in place and working until about September. So that was basically uh, roughly still the same pattern that you had when you were in school, is that uh, uh, you did your studying, you primarily, you did most of your studying during from September to June. You had some time off from June to uh, September to sort of uh, have fun and, and uh, think about what you're going to be doing next year, or shortly, let's say, looking forward to next year, and that's kind of where things have, uh, have gone for myself, and so I'm always in this back-to-school mode, and uh, one of the things, the project, big projects that I've been working on now, that's sort of uh, being put together, is I'm working on an electronics bench, and from there you can build not only all the equipment, but because I'm moving into something known as open hardware. Open hardware is a form of electronics now, where a lot of the designs, rather than being closed and kept 
by a particular company. In other words, instead of being proprietary, it's open and open to community, just the way, open to community development, just in the same way that you have open source development for software. Uh, hardware is now going towards an open community as well. Uh, and that, for anyone who who likes electronics and wants to get further into electronics in terms of developing electronics, like for electronic engineering, that's the way to go. It's through the open hardware, so open hardware um, path. That's where you want to go. Uh, because it is exactly like what you have in Linux with the open software, open source development, the community development. And there's a lot of resources, even particularly out there on YouTube, that you could sort of look around and figure out how to put together a good electronics lab. And that's kind of what I'm doing now. That's where the bench is sort of being fixed up. Uh, it won't be fully operational until about seven, September 15th. That's where the bench. I'm still working on the bench now, still fixing things up. And when the bench, bench is done, I will give you a tour of the bench and you can sort of see where everything is uh, sort of fitting in. I can show you some of the IPTV stuff that I've work, been working on. And got it in this little case here. Uh, I said I do a lot of refurbished stuff. I do a lot of get stuff from. This is these are headsets from JBL. So if you know the sound system and, and the speakers JBL, which are high-end speakers, uh, well, these are high-end speakers for years. Then I have this little Sansa view here uh, with an 8 gigabyte chip on the inside. And there's enough to put uh, a little tiny TV show. The, you you resize uh, the, um, the shows down for an iPod. You use the same iPod format, so, so the same format as the iPod. And you've got IPTV. Um, directly on your little uh, phone here, or well, this is not the phone here. This is simply the um, the MP4 device. I've kind of split things up uh, rather than having everything all at once. I do have uh, video on here for YouTube and everything, but I'm actually not using the YouTube app for YouTube on here. I found that the uh, Opera app, uh, Opera is your browser. Uh, Opera is actually better for YouTube than is the YouTube app. So uh, I've kind of dumped the YouTube app and I'm using Opera uh, as my primary um, uh, means of accessing YouTube and other sites. Like I've got some of the sites that I need here. Like I've got Facebook on here. I've got um, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr on here is there as well. But I only have them for single accounts. If I need to go into other accounts, other sections that I have in there, then the rest is going to be done through Opera, through the mobile platform. Uh, and that's what Opera is on there for. I do have Firefox. Firefox is for when I need to get the access to the full desktop. Let's say I don't want a mobile site. I want to get access to the full desktop. Well, I have uh, add-ons on here for Firefox that allows me to go with Firefox and go right into the desktop site, desktop sites, and get the full desktop site, the full without any having anything sort of cut off or truncated or anything like that. So I have the full desktop site, the full desktop.